Hello and welcome. So today I'm talking detox and I have a new phone stand here. So it gives me a different angle. Um, anyways, I'm excited that you're here. It's kind of a coffee talk or a tea talk. I'm drinking tea right now because it's rainy out. And if you wa are watching live, welcome. And if you're watching a replay, welcome. So I made the conscious choice to include you guys into my little detox journey, full well knowing I was going to get a ton of questions. And it, I did. I got a lot yesterday. And it made me realize a couple things. Number one, I don't talk about this enough, is digging deep into our health. And then number two, you guys have questions because it's just not talked about that much. And so I want to dive in. I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm going to give myself a little bit more light here. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be. I don't know. Here we go. If. Perfect. I don't know if I'm going to answer all your questions. I don't know if it's going to leave you feeling wonderful at the end that like you've got all the answers to everything. And you can see my oil diffuser here. I was trying to keep it out of view. So because <laughs> I, I didn't have it on yet. Um, but here I am coming to you to chat detox. Okay, so detoxification is one of the tools in my healthy living toolbox. And it's one that is huge. It's one that I could solely teach on and solely run a business on. And it's what I did in practice when I was a pra in practice as a chiropractor. So when I, I'm going to kind of give you my story a little bit and some of the background of me so that you know, number one, why I feel like I can talk about this. Number two, how I've walked this journey. Number three, kind of what I'm doing right now and what my thought process is to help you detoxify number one on a daily basis, but number two on just like a deeper level also. Okay. So when I decided to go to chiropractic school, I loved nutrition. I didn't know if I liked chiropractic and I didn't know if I liked anything else. I just felt like food was a good thing that we should nourish our bodies with. And I wanted to go into a career that I could chat food, <laughs> really. And at that time, there was there was no online programs. There was one online program, I remember, and it had very poor reviews on its credibility. And so I was like, well, what do I do? This was in 2005. And I was like, well, I'll just go be a chiropractor. My dad was like, why don't you just be a chiropractor? I was like, sure, I think I can do anything natural health with it, and great. So I got into chiropractic school, and I absolutely fell in love with chiropractic and getting adjusted and the power that really can heal our body that is within our bodies to heal naturally through a chiropractic adjustment. And so I'm all about getting adjusted and having your entire family get adjusted. And then I kind of lost this love for nutrition. I still loved it, but I was like, I was just, just high on chiropractic and learning how to adjust and speaking the lingo and the language. And I was like, I just want an office that I just adjust. That's all I wanted to do. And so then what happened was I started to not feel so great. And I started to get a little bit sicker, a little bit sicker. And I remember by, um, so in chiropractic school, we do 10 trimesters. So it takes us three and a third years to get really four years of school done. And it was in the eighth trimester of school, I couldn't get out of bed like before 8 a.m. And I used to go to this club that was a 6 a.m. on Thursday morning, like club, and we would talk chiropractic and it was wonderful. And I could not get out of bed to get myself to school by 6 a.m. And it was like I was just dead to the world and I thought well I'm just a little burnt out and I also thought because I don't know tons of lies that I just wasn't strong enough to get out of bed and it was just my own like brain and willpower's fault. I never thought that all of the symptoms that I had, all the digestive issues, the weight gain that I had, the uh, immense amount of brain fog that I had, the tiredness that I had, the um, just sluggishness that I had was physiological. I just assumed that I wasn't strong enough mentally to get myself together and to do the hard things of putting one foot in front of the other and being a driven chiropractor that's going to, you know, revolutionize my city. Um, and I don't say that in a bad way. I just say that it's like, that's, that's just how I felt at that time. And I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything good because I, I can't get out of bed. And so then it took me until my ninth trimester of school, so this was like three, four months later, uh, that I still didn't feel very well. And I 
met this doctor and he, I was actually going to start to do his training programs and he taught me how to muscle test and Lori, you're on there. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, I have a beautiful female cardinal outside of my window right now. Side note. Um, anyways, so I'm in this doctor's um, training program. We're learning all about the liver and detoxification and methylation and how to muscle test. And I was like, so excited. This is all I remember. I remember being so tired that I could barely think. I was so bloated that I was so uncomfortable sitting down. But yet I was excited about this information that I was learning. And here's the deal. I loved this stuff and it, the light bulb that weekend went off in my mind that I'm learning about helping other people and doing more advanced healing type stuff. And I was the one that was so sick and I needed that. So I started going down this path of seeing this doctor as his patient slash he taught me all of this stuff too. So I got to shadow him and see different patients with him and just learn. And it was awesome. It was so awesome. And I still love and still loved chiropractic at the time and getting adjusted and getting adjusted regularly. But I fell in love with advanced healing because that's where I feel like I got my life back. Like I was literally a human being that could function on, I feel like 40% of my max. Not that we should be at a hundred percent all the time, but I mean, I was maybe at 40% and I felt just horrible. And then when you are sick for so long, it becomes an emotional battle too. And you really battle feelings like I said, like I was just not strong enough. I couldn't heal this myself. Like, oh, I just don't eat the right foods. So if I just ate a little bit less or ate something different or if I exercised more, then like then I would lose the weight and then I would have the energy that like such and such person would has. And then I could do what I wanted to do. So fast forward lots of years of healing and I ended up starting to work in practice and doing um, mainly adjusting and then I just, the doctor I was working for at the time, she and I thought very, very similarly. And we just knew we both couldn't do everything. And so we had transitioned me then into more of a role where I worked more with people one-on-one, -on -one, sitting in front of them, going over their health history, digging deep to the root cause of things, and really getting down to detoxification, getting down to healing the body, healing the root cause, figuring out what in the world was making them sick, what like what was the whole cascade of issues what started it what are the issues going on what testing did we need to do what muscle testing do we need to do how do we find the right supplements how do we find the right dosages how do we know like the protocols all of these things which totally and utterly fires me up it still does i will tell you this one thing after i had my baby i swear like as the placenta came out like all <laughs> my knowledge of <laughs> advanced detoxification left too um i joke about that but it's just not my focus anymore and I'm going to tell you why that it's not my focus either, but why I'm still so passionate about it and I had to chat with you about it today. So this all comes full circle. I'm feeling better. Um, I'm working with patients. I'm seeing their lives transformed and their lives changed. And that, that is what I love to do. So even though before I loved just being a chiropractor adjusting and I still love to adjust. I wish I could get my hands on a few more people every week. Um, but I love being home even more. Um, but I love adjusting, but I love sitting down and just solving the mystery that was that patient's health and watching them and encouraging them walk that journey. I love to hold hands with people and just walk them through that healing journey. Um, it's just what fires me up and is why I love to do what I do from the back of a computer to you or from a Facebook live is because I get to hear your stories too. And I get to see the things that you're, you're doing. If I teach you or somebody else teaches you or just the culmination of you learning and keep applying like the things in your life that change so now we're gonna get a little bit more into detox so that was my story and my training and so what made me legitimately a functioning human being was learning more about detox and how our body works and putting putting that stuff into place so now fast forward to what I'm doing right now because I said I'm killing off some bad bugs in my gut and so I because my gut was off for so many years and I had chronic stomach aches for 10 years of my life and I'm not that old not that young anymore but I'm not that old to have chronic stomach aches for 10 years um, that was a long time and I know now that when now and I, I will say this I do not think that there's so such thing as perfect health 
I don't think that there is a such thing where you're just gonna feel perfect and never have to work at it or you know anything that you eat should never ever make you feel bad um, like there is just no such thing as perfection right but I know now because my gut feels so good and it is the weakest part of my body right now or one of them because it was so sick for so long I can tell and I would call myself like I wouldn't call it a nervous gut, but like my gut feels the things that my body's feeling. Okay, so I'll explain that too. So when something's off, my gut feels it and I'll just feel a little bloated. And I know that if I don't figure out what's going on with my gut and, and it goes on for longer than a week, like there's something else there. So usually if my body's really, really stressed out, I will start getting bloated because my body is stressed and the stressed point is my gut. And if there's something weird that I eat, even though my body is so much better with foods, I still can't eat grains. If I eat grains, I get a stomach ache for a day or so. And it's not very bad, I know it will heal, sometimes I still choose to eat it. Um, but I just know that if it goes on for a little longer, there's something more there. So my brother is also a chiropractor, thankfully. And um, so he is my doctor. And so whenever there's something up with my gut, I go see him and he takes care of me and he tells me what to take and what to do and I just go do the things and then my gut feels better and heals. And then I can go back doing the things that I normally do in my regular life to support my body being healthy. So there's two different types of detoxification, okay? And this will, will help us kind of differentiate this whole detox thing because I had a lot of questions like, what do I decide to do? How do I do this detox? What supplements do I choose? So there's two types of detox. There is daily detox and like simplified detox. And then there is more advanced detox where you're really digging down and you're healing some chronic issues that are going on. So daily detox are the things that I teach, I, I feel like I teach you guys to do because I am all about simplifying wellness and making things simple right now. Sarah, are you doing intermittent fasting? No, not right now because I'm still breastfeeding, but normally I do. I have a whole article about that and I have a podcast coming out about intermittent fasting soon. I can't remember when, I think it's July sometime. Um, that's a good question. So be, so here's, here's how I can get my mind around all of this stuff because I feel like I'm have the potential to confuse you guys here because I do like to teach on things that are simple to do and that you can do and that you can take control of your health. Um, but with the advanced detox, you can still take control of your health that way. But keeping things simple, I believe that if we apply the simple things, now when I say simple, that doesn't mean easy and that doesn't mean like haphazardly, that just means the things that are simplified. How do you eat well on a daily basis and be consistent with that? How do you move your body well where you're, you know, um, really encouraging your body to heal and to gain muscle and to be fit for your life and not like want six pack abs or something, which is not, should not be the goal. You, I posted about that, um, just last week. And, um, so how do you kind of live that, those, those basics and those simplified wellness, the things that are going to transform your whole entire lifestyle? And I believe if we all did the simplified things and we do the things that we can control, um, and I don't say control like we have control over our health in terms of like we can just do everything with our own might, but the things that we can make choices on. When we do that, I believe that at least 50% of our health problems would disappear and up to 80%. I've seen it time and time again by doing the basics and doing the simplified stuff. Now what happens is if the simplified stuff doesn't seem to be taking care of the problem, then we have to go to the more advanced detoxification. And this is where I'm going to tell you something that may surprise you a little bit when it comes to advanced detox and healing the things that are chronic and that you just can't seem to figure out and it's very confusing. I will tell you this, go and hire a skilled functional medicine, natural health practitioner to guide you through that process. That's my best advice and it is the advice I follow too. So I told you my brother is my chiropractor. I go to him and say, hey, my tummy hasn't been feeling so well. Can you figure me out? And he does. Because I tried for a long time after seeing that first doctor that I saw and I got so much better, but I still needed some gut healing. I tried to do it all on my own. Now, I was trained in this. I was doing this face-to-face -face with patients and I was getting them well. 
and I was leading them down the right paths to empower themselves to do number one, the simplified things, and number two, follow the protocols that I taught them. But guess what? I couldn't do it for me because I felt like a little squirrel brain, as they say, like, oh, this new protocol and this new research and oh, this supplement and now I should do this. And my brain became very, very muddled and I wasn't able to uh, really take care of my own body to heal. I believe that we are all capable of doing very, very hard things in our health, doing protocols that are harder or taking supplements that are healing. But what happens is we just don't either have the knowledge base or we don't have the right testing and we don't have just the right everything to piece together the right protocol or to know what to do but i think the biggest one is we are very very emotionally invested in our own health and we should be but i am that too so i am too emotional to help myself another kind of interesting fact is i am too emotional and emotionally connected to my husband to be a good doctor for him never have i been able to help him like i mean when he has something very little going on like i can help him with that i can adjust him i can like if he's got a cold, we can figure out the right supplements and things for that. But when it comes to his body and healing, I am his wife, not his doctor. I do a very bad job. And I think it comes from the fact that emotionally invested in him, I want him to feel his best and I don't want to put him on a protocol that might be hard. So somehow within my brain, I'm like, oh, my husband's just fine. He's good. He doesn't need to do something hard like that I'm telling him to do. But when he goes and sees my brother, he can just figure out what I completely missed and he can get on his healing way too. And so we're just very emotionally invested in our own health, which is good, but it's not as good for piecing together protocols for ourselves. So that's what I'm going to tell you. And my best advice for detox is find somebody who is highly trained, skilled in detox, skilled in figuring out what your body needs to get to the root cause of that, whatever it might be. Is it hormone issues? Is it gut issues? Is it um, your immune system? Like what is it or what are the multiple layers of things that they can start peeling back those layers? Because I believe that you have the energy and you have the willpower and you have the wherewithal because you're in this group and you're learning about health to do the things to heal your body. It's just figuring out what the right path is. And that's what I did in practice. And it's funny, as I was typing this up, I was like, if I still did health coaching right now, I could probably get myself a lot of patients. And I say that jokingly and lovingly towards you too, but I don't do that anymore. Um, it's not what I do because I don't feel like I have the um, just capacity to take on all of that information that I needed to learn and go to all the seminars I needed to learn and do to stay up on the current information. So find somebody who can, who is staying up on the current information and can really, really help you with that advanced stuff. I am more trying to figure out how I can teach you just in your day to day life to learn those more simplified and basic things and be able to do that because they are so important. So this is what I have said for years and years, I said this to patients and I'll say this to you, you cannot out supplement a bad diet. You can't out supplement a bad lifestyle. And so if you're sitting here being like, I put so much time into my lifestyle, I put a lot of money into my lifestyle and now you're telling me to go hire somebody to help me. Like I already know a lot of stuff. That is awesome. Those were my favorite, favorite patients because they, let's just say it was you. You came to me going, I tried this and this diet. I'm really good at eating this. I know all this stuff. I've cleaned up my personal care products. I've done all these different things. So like your lifestyle is a lifestyle of detoxification. You drink lemon water in the morning. You're not putting toxic stuff on your hair and your face. You're doing all of these wonderful things that you are like living that detox lifestyle. Then what I could do is be like, awesome, we can completely skip like three to six months of learning the basics. Let's just dive in. And those people got the best results because you knew, you knew what you knew to keep your body well. You just had to dig deeper to get your body well, to let all those things that you were doing really, really sink in and matter. And so those are my favorite people. <laughs> you guys are my favorite people but seriously it was wonderful and even if I had somebody who was a complete newbie and and knew nothing about health it was still really fun to walk them through that process so don't get me wrong in hearing me there but if you already know all those basic things and you're doing those that's just gonna help that process of digging deeper too so 
I want to explain a little bit more of kind of digging deeper and putting together this puzzle. I believe I had a lot of questions of like, how do you know what tests to do? How do you know what supplements to take? So I'm going to explain it in two different ways. Our bodies, think of our bodies like a bucket and this, or like a bathtub. I think a bathtub is good. Think of our bodies like a bathtub. And we all have different size bathtubs. There's, you know, the huge, like, you know, corner jacuzzi tubs. And then there's like the teeny tiny ones in the small houses or the apartments. We all have a different size bathtub. And that just means that our toxic bathtubs, if you will, will fill up differently. So that is how somebody can be, let's just say they're 60 years old and they have the worst lifestyle you've ever seen. And somehow they still feel good and they've had no issues. They just have one of those corner jacuzzi tubs and although the toxins are filling up that bathtub, it just hasn't overflowed yet. But some of you have a smaller bathtub, an apartment bathtub, and I feel like I had maybe more of that smaller apartment bathtub too. And the little things that, that I did or that you do, that it just, boom, in your 20s, your bathtub filled out up and what happened you didn't turn off the water and it just kept overflowing and pretty soon you have this overflowing bathtub our bathtubs are all cool when there's water in them but when it starts overflowing into our bathroom we've got major major issues and got to do some huge renovations that's what advanced healing is that's where I was my bathtub was like I just didn't turn the water off and it was just everywhere it was like in my whole house <laughs> there was water and a flood and I needed to you go through the process kind of room by room, if you will, and like organ system by organ system, process by process, supporting my body, healing these different things. And so what really tipped me off was this huge parasite infection that I got when I went on a mission trip to Mexico when I was 18. That's what set my body off. And that's what I had to do my big major healing with. So even though my gut is fine, and it is quite healthy, I somehow, somewhere, by not leaving this country, got myself another parasite. I don't know, I honestly don't know where it's from. It could have been at a restaurant or something and I ate some bad meat or I don't know where I got it. I don't even let my dog lick me, so I don't think I got it from her. I don't know where I got it. So my gut had been off for a couple weeks and I see my brother, he goes, you have this parasite and you've got to clear out your gallbladder and you've got to kill off this parasite and here are the supplements and here are some different diet things that you can do. And so I'm not going to get into specifics because these are specifics to me. And a lot of you are like, what supplement are you taking? I'm like, I can't tell you because number one, you won't be able to find it anyways. Um, and number two, it's probably not going to help you because it's really specific to me. And what I'm doing is very specific to me. And so what you have to then find is somebody to take the puzzles, the puzzle pieces and piece them together for you. And it is so much easier. I would sit down with patients and I'd be like, let me do the hard work for you. Like you, I'll just hand you a sheet of paper and I will fully explain to you what I'm doing. But I'm like, just look at it as simply as I do all the legwork, I read all your lab tests, I figure out everything with muscle testing. If I was muscle testing that certain patient, I will figure out with your health history. I will piece everything together for you and I'm just going to hand you a protocol and all you have to do is do that protocol. And next time I see you, I'll hand you another one. It, it becomes as simple as that. Now, my biggest thing too was not to be the doctor that just handed a protocol and didn't say anything else. Um, that's the easy part that I really wanted to teach people. And all the stuff that I felt like I continued to teach my advanced cases was the stuff I teach you now. How do you eat healthy at a restaurant? How do you go out and like be with friends and eat grain free in the real world? You know, I have a podcast on that. How do you not be so obsessive about food and finding food freedom when that was the only thing that you felt like you could control when you were so sick? Those types of things that we really hash through in the appointments with people is the stuff that I teach you. The actual protocols is just the stuff I don't do anymore, but there are lots of amazing and wonderful doctors. Some of them work virtually and some of them might be in your own backyard. So find somebody with that that can really piece together those puzzles, pieces. And if you have any questions, ask me too. Um, okay, so this is a couple of your guys' questions now, so I wanna do some Q and A's. How do you find out what needs to be healed? So this would be a question for your wonderful practitioner that you're going to find, but this is what I always said. I wanted to see the whole picture of your health history and what was going on inside of your body to the best of my ability. So I would give them a extremely detailed um, like intake paperwork so that I could piece together and I could see from 
kind of birth and childhood on the things that might have, I guess, filled up that bathtub, if you will. And then we could go, okay, that's what we need to focus on that. So I could extract a ton from health history. So what I would do is I would start and I would make a mind map of the things I got from the health history. Then we would do blood work because I wanted to do blood work. Here's the thing about blood work that I'll just tell you. Um, blood work is wonderful. But blood work is only wonderful when you know how to read it right. So I have a lot of people that are like, I had a bunch of blood work done. My MD said I was just fine. And I was like, give me your blood work and let me read it. Because there are functional ranges and there are pieces of your blood work that work together. That if this is off, look at this and compare it to this. And then you can start seeing things. So I would take a lot of time to read blood work and to read all of the different thyroid numbers and just see where is there inflammation? Is the thyroid off? Is there's just so much stuff that you could see about different nutrient levels and then we could dig deeper. We could do hormone tests. We could do methylation tests. We could do gene SNP tests. We could do um, intracellular nutrient tests. We could do heavy metal tests. There's lots of additional tests. We could test for biotoxins, molds, and lime. Um, Lots of things that we would add on that I would only do if that person's history would warrant it. And then something that I absolutely adore, that I could never do online, is muscle testing. I love applied kinesiology when done by somebody who's really, really skilled and can figure out with tests and with um, your health history what things work and find a really customized approach. I love a good muscle test. And that was a really fun way um, for me to just confirm my findings and to figure out some different supplements for people that was really customizable to their body. So how do you decide what detox to do? Let your natural practitioner decide what to do first and what to do second because there are some things that you, you want to do first and you want to do um, in a line. And this was a great question that um, one of you had. When you're choosing supplements, do you want to do like a specific detox supplement? Do you want to mostly detox by diet? Or like are there other supplements? And this was wonderful because I feel like there's a lot of information out there of like all, all you have to do for detox is your diet. Now our nutrition is so important. But I found this for myself and I saw this with many, many people of being really, really frustrated when it came to nutrition and knowing how powerful and important it was, but it just wasn't enough to heal our bodies because there was so much more than just the nutrients in our food could heal. So yes, you can simplify and you can do the basic detox with your diet. You can get rid of the processed things, the hydrogenated oils, the artificial colors in there, all the like junk ingredients that we've created as in our man-made factories that our body can not process. You know, get rid of that junky gluten, eat gluten free or go grain free. Those are detoxing with your diet. But to really dig down deep, diet in and of itself sometimes isn't um, enough. And so just wanted you to hear that from me as kind of crazy as that sounds. Sometimes it isn't. Now, our, when you go to like GNC, we're going to use that as an example. Please don't buy your supplements from GNC. They were just in a lawsuit about not not putting out very good supplements and mismarketing. But I'm going to use them as an example because I remember having gone into a GNC years ago and being like, oh, look it. And they, places like this, they'll sell like a box like this with a colon cleanse. And it's got like two different, you know, supplements in it. It's like, this is to cleanse this and this to just buy a bottle that's like, this will cleanse your colon. Like it just won't. Um, they're out there and it's marketed for a reason. It's probably got some like psyllium husks and maybe some probiotics in it. So you add a little bit of fiber and some probiotics and for some people they may feel a little better, but it's not gonna like heal your body. There is no just magic detox supplement out there. I wish there was, if there was anything I could call magical, <laughs> it would be bone broth. Um, not because there's anything magical about it because it's just really easy to take and is really supporting for many parts of your body. And there's other great things, you know, too. Like our, like I said, our diet is very important, but there's no just like detox supplement. So if you ever hear of a supplement that is touted to like clean your car and like do your dishes, you know, like that just is too good to be true. Just realize that there is no magic pill, potion, or lotion. Um, things add up and you can have some like I, there's a probiotic that I would call magical for my body. I test for it all the time. Somehow that certain strain of probiotic is really, really good for my gut. But does it solve everything? No, not at all. I was taking it and still needed to do some more healing with my body. Um, so 
Then I wanted to talk about other different herbal supplements when it comes to detox. So there's a lot of supplements out there. And I wanted to go over this for you because it can, this is where just a really good functional medicine practitioner can help with this. So when people are like, can I have a supplement to help my gut? Or can I have a supplement for this? There are certain things that I can direct you to. I have a podcast all about adrenals and you can take a test to see which adrenal supplement um, works really well for you. It tends to be a very, very accurate test. Um, crazy enough, I tend to test for some of the same ones that my body really likes. But when you think of like just adrenal supplements, there's ashwagandha, there's rhodiola, there's licorice root, and there are multitudes of other, there's lots of Chinese herbs that uh, are great adaptogens that work to adapt to stress and our adrenal supplements for your body. So it's kind of hard just to choose um, when it comes to our immune system. When you're fighting something, you know, there's some things out there that are really, really good to have like in your natural medicine cabinet. Elderberry, vitamin C, sassandra berry. I love keeping uva ursi and usnea lichen um, as kind of like, they're kind of antimicrobials, but they're really great for the immune system when you're fighting something. Those are things that you can have and you can utilize because that's good to have. But when it comes to like really digging deep for something chronic within your body, you're just not gonna know which ones to choose. You're not gonna know if you should choose some aromatic like um, herbs like oregano or thyme to heal your gut or something like olive leaf extract or garlic. It's, there's just so much variation within there and it's really good to have somebody who's trained in supplements. And so people ask me a lot like, can I just go grab my supplements on Amazon or can I do this or what do you think about this one? I don't know a lot of just the kind of everyday, sometimes lower quality ones because I work with the professional companies and that's that's where I've gotten trained was is by um, through a few of them. And they just do such a great job of formulating things and doing, doing a good job of that. So um, when I will recommend a supplement, it's usually from Nutridyne because they have a great and easy ordering process that I can pass on my professional account onto you. And so the Dynamic Greens are from there. The Vessel Care for Methylation is on there. The Multi Powder, which is like the multivitamin, is on there. The Adrenal Supplements are on there. There's some really good ones on there um, that I can give you, but just via this Facebook Live and just really just working, um, like not knowing the ins and outs of working with you, I can't give specific detox recommendations. Ugh. And let me tell you, it kills me that I can't because I wish that I could grab all of you and we could just have like a detox retreat and we could just, I could go through all of your health histories and lay things out and lay protocols out because it is so much fun to me. But I did have to let that part of my practice and my business go. Um, but I wanted just to speak to you on that. So please tell me if I left you hanging or left with so many more questions. I'd love to answer more of them and I do hope that it makes sense, but I will say this one more time. I believe that finding somebody to guide you along the process of advanced healing is going to be honestly the most simplified approach. And I really noodled on this a long time in my mind when I was coming up with like, how do I talk about this? I believe the most simplified and easiest thing and less, least stressful thing for you to do honestly is to find somebody to teach you and to guide you and to figure out what's going on with your body and then you can just go and do that protocol and rock it out and gain all of that amazing healing and then yeah just feel a lot better. So let me know in this group, you can always send me a private message too. I would love to know just the things that you're doing. If you found a practitioner, um, the like amazing progress that you're making, how your health is changing. I love to hear that because that is the thing that I miss so much about being face to face with patients is I don't get to just hear the stories of how the last month went or how the last few months went with doing this certain protocol. So I love to know that, um, your body's healing, that you're gaining health, that you're learning a lot, and really that you're just transforming your whole lifestyle. And then you can pass that on to your family too. And I think that is so great. When I look at my little one and I'm like, okay, not that I can control everything about her health because I cannot. And even though I wish I can, but I'm like the things that I and my husband are hopefully, you know, kind of the foods we're feeding her and the way that we're raising her when it comes to her health, I'm like, she shouldn't, for any reason, have the digestive issues that I had. Now, I was not raised, you know, horribly or anything like that, um, or fed really bad foods. We just didn't have the 
the mindfulness and the knowledge I, my parents didn't about supporting my gut the way that I hope that we're supporting Otava's gut and the things that we're doing to build her immune system, the things that we're just really focusing on to, to give her or the supplements that she's getting or really the foods that she's not getting that could potentially um, throw off her gut more. And so I think it's really cool that all the stuff that you are learning, if you are a mama, that you get to pass down to your kiddos and they get to be hopefully healthier than you were and not have to go through really the same just health junk that you did. I think that is a really cool thing that we can powerfully pass this health stuff down to other generations and just watch our kiddos grow up so healthy. So I hope you have a great Wednesday. Like I said, ask me questions. If you have questions, I would love to answer them. And if you want me to answer some more specific detox questions and hop on Facebook Live, let me know you guys here in this Facebook group. This is where I invest the most social media time, if you will. I do post things on Instagram, but this is where I can really connect to you and I feel like you guys are my people in here. So if you know of anybody else, you can invite them into this um, into this group, women. It's women only because um, I like to keep it that way so that we can just talk more woman stuff in here. Um, but I invite your, your friends into here. I would love to have more people in here so we can learn together, we can simplify our health together, and we can just get so much healthier together. So have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.